Welcome to the Vicarage, where stories are told and prayers are prayed. I'm Lisa Fishbeck, Vicar of the Episcopal Church of the Advocate here in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. In this season of the Vicarage, we've been gathering by the Advocate Pond to tell the stories from, of the women from the Episcopal Church's great cloud of witnesses, that is, the women of the cloud. In this final episode of the season, I want to take time to reflect on what we have seen and heard over the past 15 weeks. We've learned about Christian women from across the centuries, from Mary and Martha and Thecla in first century Palestine, to Frances Perkins, a faithful laywoman in the halls of government in the 20th century United States of America. We've learned about women who worked with the system, within the system and the structures that they were given, yet pushed the boundaries. We've learned about women who persevered in working for the abolition of slavery and the rights of all to vote. We've learned of women in the early centuries of the church and in the Middle Ages who founded convents and places of learning and study for the women of their day, as well as women in the 19th and 20th centuries who founded schools for those who would not otherwise have had a place to study and learn. We've learned about the martyrs of Memphis who, when faced with an outbreak of yellow fever in their city, did not flee to safety, but rather stayed with the sick, even at the cost of their own lives. We've learned of women who spoke the truth to power, and so many others who helped the poor and the homeless in their neighborhoods and cities. Ah, it's quite a list. Macrina and Bridget, Hildegard of Bingen, Catherine Winkworth, Amelia Jenks Bloomer, Sojourner Truth, Marjorie Kemp, Vida Dutton Scudder, Florence Nightingale, Artemisia Bowden, Prudence Crandall. Each of these women, in her own way, were ordinary and extraordinary, each committed to living the life of Christian faith as they were able and as they were called. I'm reminded of the reading from Ecclesiasticus that we used to hear each year on the Festival of All Saints. Let us now praise famous men. But I'm not thinking about that opening line so much as the part where it says, some of them have left behind a name so that, uh, so that others declare their praise. But of others, there is no memory. They have perished as though they had never existed. They have become as though they had never been born they and their children after them. But these also were godly people whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten. Their wealth will remain with their descendants and their inheritance with their children's children. Of these women, unknown to many, we are their descendants, descendants in the faith, descendants in the struggle, Descendants, I pray, encourage. Thanks to the work of those who put this book together, thanks to the technology of our time, to Grace Camblos, our grand producer, you and I have been able to hear these stories and to be inspired. It's been a good season. In season two of The Vicarage, starting in November, the inspirations will continue as we shift our attention to the saints among us. We will learn of those who haven't been recognized by the Standing Committee on Liturgy and Music of the Episcopal Church, but who lived the life God gave them and whose stories may help us to find a way through our own troubled times. Stay tuned and be well.